Hey y'all, welcome to the Crafty Cove. My name's Missy. Y'all know here we like to do farmhouse decor on a Dollar Tree budget. And I am so excited about this video today. I'm doing some farmhouse bathroom DIYs and I'm teaming up with my friend Sarah at Sunflowers and DIY. We're gonna talk about that in just a few minutes, but for right now, let's get right into it. DIY number one. So I picked up these little plaques at the Dollar Tree that have these little hooks on them. And the first thing we're going to do is of course remove both of the hooks or each hook off of each of these pieces and the back hooks that hang that these hang on then i'm going to take one coat of chalkboard paint from the dollar tree and paint both of these i'm not worrying about the backs just the front and all around the edges then we're going to put those to the side and let those dry take a pig and a cow uh, galvanized piece from the dollar tree remove all the hardware off of there sorry I don't know why I show you all this I mean y'all know how to remove a sticker <laughs> and we're going to take some of our buffalo plaid vinyl from the Dollar Tree I love this stuff especially for this right here just to cover things with we're just going to cut out a piece that will cover the cow and I'm going to cover the cow and then just cut off all the excess with my um, little knife and I'm going to do the exact same thing to the pick, so there's no difference in any of this. My little knife is my utility knife, y'all. I have no words this morning, apparently. I don't know what's wrong with me today. So after we get, we're just, again, we're just cutting it all, around, all the way around it. Do the same exact thing to the pig, which I think I'm going to show you a little bit of right here. Just placing that vinyl down, making sure that it's good and smooth. If it's not, I just pull it back up and place it down again. And then we just cut all of the excess off. After we get that finished, we are going to go back to our two plaque pieces. And we are going to go ahead and take some white Waverly chalk paint on both of these and go around all the edges, just and my chippy brush from the Dollar Tree. And just do a little bit of distressing. Y'all know I like that distressed look. So here we are doing the second one. Then we are going to go ahead and put both of our hooks on the front parts of these little plaques. Because we're, again, these are for our bathroom. They can be used in other places. But I'm, the I had in mind the bathroom. Now I'm just going to take both of my animals and glue them down just with hot glue right onto my plaque. And again, the hot glue worked perfectly. You could also use these like in a kitchen. So I'm, I'm, all of my projects today are for my bathroom, but I can't say that they might not move to other places also. <laughs> I, that's what I like about farmhouse. You can kind of switch it up in each room. Next, I'm going to make a little finger bow that I learned from my friend over Amanda over at Six Kids and a Glue Gun. Just wrapping the twine around my finger cutting it off, cinching it in the middle, and tying it up with another piece of twine. I'm going to make two of these little finger bows and glue them right onto my little animals here. Now we're going to take these little, these were little garden stakes, and I took the stake off and I'm just using that little white piece. Flipping it over, taking a farmhouse sticker from the Dollar Tree, taking off the sticker part and gluing that sticker onto that cilantro piece or that garden steak piece, making another little shoestring bow to cover up the hole. And I'm going to do the same exact thing on both of these little garden steak pieces. And then we're just going to glue them right to the center of our animals. And that's it. How cute. I love how these turned out. And again, I made them especially for my bathroom, but honestly, these could go almost anywhere in your house, especially in like a kitchen or a guest bathroom even just because you can hang little towels from them. I'm sorry, I don't have towels hanging from them now, but y'all know I'm in a hotel, so I just do what I can do here. <laughs> Again, today I am teaming up with Sarah from Sunflowers and DIY. I have, Sarah has followed my channel for a long time, but I've just recently like uh, started talking to Sarah, I guess. That sounds weird, but y'all know what I mean. And she is like the sweetest person I have ever met. I absolutely love her. I love her channel, all of the inspiration that she comes up with. I'm just showing y'all a little bit about her. Y'all make sure that you go check Sarah out after you're finished here. Let her know that I sent you, and I promise you are not going to be disappointed when you go check her out. 
Okay, DIY number two. So for this one, we're going to use one of these, I'm gonna call it like a champagne flute maybe, I don't know what it is, it's just a glass from the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to paint three good coats of the black chalkboard paint that I get from the Dollar Tree, or you can get it from the Dollar General also. It dry between each coat, y'all, because glass and paint do not work well together. It always wants to chip off. Then I'm going to take one of these small little vases. I'm going to do the exact same thing. Three good coats of the black chalkboard paint letting dry between each coat. Now we're going to put those to the sides, and of course we're going to work on some of our galvanized um, animals from the Dollar Tree. So for this one, we're going to use a chicken, doing the exact same thing we did on the first one, taking off all the hardware, cutting a piece of buffalo check that will cover the chicken, putting the buffalo check on there, and then cutting it out with our utility knife. I, like I said, I, right now I'm obsessed with these farm animals and I love them. So you're gonna see me doing quite a few projects with them. And I really usually like to paint them, but honestly, this buffalo check material is the perfect thing to do this with. After we get that front side done, we're gonna flip it over doing the exact same thing on the other side because I want this to be two-sided. But anyway, I did recently just use the contact paper to cut letters out and I like that, but honestly, I like it for covering things better than anything. Now we're just going to take these two little pieces that came off some of the arched windows at the Dollar Tree and paint those white. We did put a good coat of Mod Podge on our, both our vase and our glass. I'm going to use a popsicle stick that I cut down and a tumbling tower block and we're gonna go ahead and paint those with the black chalk paint. Now we're going to start putting our piece together. Now I go ahead and do this and then I have to take it apart and do it again. But I'm just using E6000 and hot glue and I'm gluing my Jenga block, my tumbling tower block right to the little vase. After that, I'm going to use the E6000 and hot glue and I'm going to glue my chicken to the tumbling tower block. Now we're going to start putting our piece together. We're making a little caddy, tiered tray caddy. So we're taking two of those wired baskets from the Dollar Tree. Now, first we're going to take our glass that we've painted and one of our little squares that we've painted and glue our glass to our square upside down. Then I'm going to stick my, um, basket on there. I'm just trying to figure out how exactly I'm going to do this. And I'm just going to load this up with hot glue, y'all. It sticks really well, so don't worry about that. Then I'm going to go ahead and take four little beads that I've got, and I'm just going to use these as little feet for our little caddy here. I'm putting one in each corner. Now we're flipping it over. We're going to add E6000 and hot glue to the top part of that glass there, and put our other little white sign on there, then stick our other basket on, and again, tons and tons of hot glue. I hope that I'm explaining this well. If not, let me know in the comments and I will answer any questions that you uh, you all have. Y'all know I'm not very good at voiceovers. <laughs> now we're taking our vase and using hot glue and E6000 and we're going to stick that down and then we're going to stick our chicken right back on it because I had to take it off just to get that to stick, sit or be able to hold that so that it would dry. But here's our finished piece with some things in it. I put some washcloths in it, some of my um, things that I use in the restroom in it, you know. But I think it turned out really cute. I did add a little bow to this one also right at the neck. Y'all let me know what you think of this. And again, if I didn't explain, please ask because I'm, you know, I'll know how I am. I will answer any questions. Okay, DIY number three, this is super simple. We're just going to use two of these canisters from the Dollar Tree. Again, with our buffalo check. Y'all know I am buffalo check obsessed. We're just going to cut a piece to cover the top parts of the lid, cut around it. Then we're going to take a strip and go around, all the way around the lid. We're doing the exact same thing for each of these. I like sets of twos. I'm going to put my cotton balls in one and my Q-tips in the other for my bathroom. Then we're just going to cut that excess off again doing the exact same thing with those with each of those now we're going to take two of our galvanized chickens we're going to paint two good coats or i'm sorry one on one chicken we're going to paint black chalkboard paint and on two tumbling tower blocks we are going to completely paint those with black chalkboard paint 
You can see I've done both sides of the black chicken. We're going to take some white Waverly chalk paint and go around the edges. And then we are going to seal it with some Mod Podge because again, it's going to be in the bathroom. It's probably going to get wet and I don't want that paint to come off. Now we did the other chicken with white Waverly chalk paint and going around the edges of this with the black chalkboard paint. And we also did two tumbling tower blocks in the white. Now we are just going to glue a tumbling tower block at the bottom on each side of our chickens. The black to the black, the white to the white. Next, we're going to use E6000 and hot glue, and we are going to go ahead and glue our chickens right on top of our canisters. Again, we're doing the same thing to both of these. Again, this these can be used in a bathroom. They could be used in a kitchen. I actually like the concept that you can use them in other places and they're not just specifically for one room. But again, the bathroom was what was in mind for me when I made these. Let me know what you think about these two. Okay, DIY number four. We're going to take, I've got four of these plunger um, sticks from the Dollar Tree. I'm only going to use two, or I'm sorry, I'm going to use three. Two of them I'm going to use full size other than cutting off the part where the actual plunger screws into that. I'm cutting that off of two of them. I'm gonna leave a link to my saw in the description box. The other one I'm going to cut off three pieces to use we're just going to make ladders a ladder here so we're going to use three pieces as the rungs I will try and measure these and leave those in the description box if I can remember now after we get that finished we're using wood glue and hot glue and we're taking the three little rungs and we are just going to glue them to one of the full um, plunger sticks then we're just going to flip it over we're going to use wood glue and hot glue again and go ahead and glue that other plunger stick on it. I'm going to take these two little cutouts, a cow and a pig from, actually these are from Walmart and these are wooden ones. And for the pig, I'm going to cover it completely with the buffalo check and just cut around the edges just to get it all even. On the cow, I'm going to paint, it's got some raised edges, like the, the head is raised and the two legs are raised. So. Everything that's not raised is going to get one coat of the black chalkboard paint. Everything that is raised, we're going to go ahead and put buffalo check on it and then just cut around it um, so that it is the shape of the head and the legs. I hope that makes sense. Y'all can see here more what I'm doing than me explaining it to you. So again, just putting the buffalo check on the raised parts of the cow. Next, we're going to figure out where we want our cow, which is going to be at the bottom of the ladder. I'm going to use wood glue and hot glue and just glue that right down to my ladder on either side. Then we're going to take our pig and glue it up towards the top. And we're going to do that the exact same way. Figure out where I want it, put some wood glue and hot glue on there. And this is held up really well. And I'm also going to put this in my bathroom, maybe to hold smaller hand towels or just as decoration. I love how that's, this one turned out also. It's one of my favorites. So y'all, that's it. Super simple farmhouse DIYs that can be used honestly in any room in your house. But for me, I was focusing on the bathroom. So here is my final reveal. Y'all know I'm obsessed with Buffalo Plaid and farmhouse. So you should have known that my bathroom was going to be decorated in farmhouse also. I can't at, now, at this moment, we are back in Virginia. We did get to go home for a while, but I did use these two um, and put them in my bathroom at home. I did not get any pictures. I apologize, but the next time we go home, I definitely will. Thanks so much, y'all. I appreciate each and every one of you. Don't forget to go check out Sarah. You are not going to be disappointed. I promise. I love each and every one of you. Thanks for watching. Y'all come back now. You hear?